Hello everyone, so I've got a little video for you today. Um, just coming doing the finishing bits and bobs on another little bungle that I've been working on. I haven't videoed any of it because it's pretty much stuff that I've already done on my channel. But we've got a bit of a challenge this morning, unfortunately, uh, and we're on site and there's tradesmen coming in and out and jobs to finish still. And what's happened, unfortunately, here is uh, there's an access uh, for the loft here that the plumbers have to get in and out of to connect up the water tank. But unfortunately, what's happened while he's been doing it uh, they've had a bit of a mishap and they've dropped something and unfortunately on this laminate floor look they've taken a massive great chunk out of it so you know yes perhaps more protection should have been on the floor but it wasn't and here we are so that's got to be repaired now unfortunately all the skirting and the architrave's down but I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to because we're quite fortunate here because it's um it's not in the middle of a run and I'd have no chance if it was a you know a middle piece of board I'm hoping that I can cut this section out, knock this section of floor that way, because obviously I've left enough room for it to move under that floor, and then sort of wiggle a replacement bit underneath that skirting, lock it back into this end joint, and then tap this whole lot back. So anyway, let's, let's make a start and see if we're successful. If not, obviously, that's the plan A. Plan B will be, unfortunately, we'll have to maybe take some skirting and architrave off and split more of the floor. but. Um, Let's keep our fingers crossed, we can be sneaky. So the first thing I'm going to do, and possibly this could be the most difficult, is get this old piece out. What I'm going to do is use a router. I need to be really careful here because I don't want to go bouncing around in here with a saw. Even like a multi-tool, get close to the edge, you could jump and then you've got two boards damaged. So I'm just going to use a trimmer in this case. I'm going to cut sort of a section out of the middle and that'll enable you to get a hammer on the, the remaining section and try and open this up. As I've said many times, this is quick step flooring and the way that the groove works on this flooring means that you can knock it together uh, you don't have to lift it lift it up and then lay it flat to get it in the groove you can actually knock it together flat so another real bonus of this uh, stuff wouldn't be able to do it if it was the kind of stuff that you've got to put in and then drop down so what i've got here is just a bit of board look I'll just run that up against those bits of architrave there and that'll just be as a guide uh, i'll just just help me steady this router rather than do it freehand I'll just use that as a guide to run down there then i'll probably just pack or something in behind it and then run it further down here so let's get that pocket cut out of there first all right here we go let's see how we get on Can't go in in one, that's too deep. Two passes. Thank you. 
very carefully join those together now. There we go. So we've got this centre section out now. Uh, you can see that. We've got this centre section out now, and what I need to do is, whoa, I don't know, be as careful as I can. I'm hoping now maybe I can get my knocking block in here and give that a tap this way, and hopefully it'll split all these joints and enable me to maybe make a small cut here and here to get this one out and hopefully enough room to get the other one in. But let's see how we get on. I managed to scrounge a hoover. That seems to work. It's good, isn't it? Everything works. of using the trimmer here is that we've, we've been able to go exactly the right amount so let's get me knocking bar see what happens here see if we can knock it apart best, best angle to see that let's have a look yep that's coming we've opened up a split here which is good whether or not it's going to be enough who knows going to go that way. So it's as far as it's going to go that way, it's going to enable to get this bit board out maybe, uh, and then we might be able to shove this floor that way a little bit, because obviously we've got movement all around. So I'm going to put a little pencil mark, just put some masking tape on this skirting. What I'm going to do, I'll show you. I'm going to put just a little pencil mark here where this joint is and I can tell if I've got it that way any so let's have a look still have see that there see if that's gonna move at all this way I'll tell you what let's let's get this let's get this out first we'll do anything else let's get this bit out Fingers crossed. Careful here. So what I don't want to do is damage any more boards around here. So probably just going to get a chisel now. No, it's not going to want a chisel. It's going to want. Uh, I'm going to tap it back. It's just broken this joint now as well. So woo, need to get a bash a chisel in here to knock that bit back. Let's do that next. All right, it's got an old beta chisel here. Let's knock him in there. Lovely. That's lovely. So, what are we doing here now? Okay. So, very carefully we've got that bit out. So, let's now, we've got to be super careful here all the time. 
gonna gently tap on this. This is the bigger knocking block because it spreads the, the load further down the edge of the board. So let's just see if we can knock this one back a bit. Yes, a few mil. Right. Let's now take a measurement from the corner of this board to just underneath that skirting, cut our spare bit of board and see if we can tickle it in there. If we can tickle it in there, um, we're laughing because then we can just knock it all back flat. But anyway, let's get that cut and see if we can get it in. Right, I've got my new bit of board cut here. So we're going to have to do some skullduggery, I think. Hopefully we're not going to have to take any of the, the tongues off. We can do, if we had to, we could, we could nip a little bit of tongue off um, and it wouldn't matter. Um, not in a door or anything. Like I said, this repair could only attempt it in this position. So that's going to go in. Let's have a quick look. Just quickly show you. Obviously, this is the this is the longer sort of groove part of, of the flooring. So what we're able to what we're basically going to do is tuck that underneath that tongue, so it enables it to drop in here. We've got enough room that the whole thing can shove that way and then we can knock it back this way to close this joint up. But what we're going to do initially, look, as you see, we've got to get the bottom lip of this groove under that tongue and then we've got to get the whole thing, look, underneath this skirting. So we're sort of tight here. So we've got to be really careful. So I can twist it a little bit, look, but not too much to the point that this tongue ends up damaging the shoulder of this board. So. Let's just see if we can tickle that in there, and if we can tickle that in there, get it far enough that way, so the whole thing drops in, we're home free. So let's set that up there. I don't know if this camera was actually any good, sorry. It's a little bit last minute. Right, let's see if that'll go in there. So I'm gonna push it, and obviously get it as far up here, if you can see that, yeah. Get it as far engaged in that tongue as possible. Look, so we managed to twist that down, look there. So hopefully, we, we're gonna go past the point of no return here once it goes in, but if I can push that down, look, get it under, oh yes. And then if you see this end, look, I don't know if you can see that, can you see that? Yeah, this end, look, we're now well in, so I'll just bring it this way a little bit. Now I can just push that under, look. Is it gonna go, come on! Oh, we're so close! So what we can do now, look, that we just, super tight here, we're super tight here, but fortunately, look, we can sort of knock this one into there. I don't really want to, because it's gonna make it more difficult to shove this one this way, so I think what I'm probably gonna do very carefully is just put my knocking block on this corner uh, and just see if I can settle that in there without snapping that joint shut. Let's see if it does it. It's so close. It's, it's going. Excellent, right, so that's gone, and what I need to do now is try and just see if I can. Oh, I can't do it, gotta be careful here. I need to just open this joint back out, but what we need to do now, the challenge now is getting this board this way. So, what I'm probably gonna do, and my shoes are nice and clean, but they've got rubber soles, I'm just gonna see if I can stamp it that way. So, let's see if I can set this up so you can see what's happening. Oh, here we go, here we go. Yes, it's going. Snap, shut. Superb. Oh my gosh. So, as you can see now, look. This is really cool. The board is in. This end is shut. That's my charging lead. So all I've got to do now is very carefully from, from this point over here and this point over here. These aren't fixed, obviously. Just tap that flooring back, shut these joints up. Ooh. We may just have to, as you can see here, this floor, this side of the floor's got to come back a little bit, but we can, again, we can knock that from over there. So let's set the camera up and see if you can see me. Snap all that lot shut. Sorry, this lead hanging off with the camera went flat. Right, let's go. Let's see what happens. I'm feeling, I'm feeling really confident here. This is super duper. Right, here we go. Back. Just be cool, don't want to fail at this stage. Yes. One more. Yes! 
Right, just tap the whole floor back up there. Right? That'll do. Do you know what? That'll do. Wow. Well, there you go. How cool is that? Look, done it. Really happy with that. Really got away with that. I know, as I said earlier, accidents happen and the floor should have been covered, but that's the beauty of this quick step look. I was able to basically, and um, obviously because you need to leave an expansion gap all the way around, that enabled us just to move, uh, split the floor because it's that quick step, as I said, and you can split it, get the old bit out, put a new bit back in and slot it all back together. So there you go. Hopefully the, uh, I'll get extra brownie points for the builder for doing that and not having to take out, look, um, I think he was under the impression that we're probably gonna have to strip all of this back, take the skirt off and everything. So, you know, I'm sure I'll get a bonus in my wage packet this week. <laughs> anyway, I hope you found that interesting. As I said, it's not the sort of repair that you can do uh, anywhere in a floor. It's just lucky that that was on the end there. So, uh, hope you found it interesting. Thanks for watching.